Hello preppers. Okay, so um, this is the installation for the iPower Tower for a wood stove application. Basically, this is the unit you'll get. Um, as you can see, um, it comes with a DC to DC controller. USB for cell phone and a 5 volt and 12 volt charging circuit uh, connector for for wires okay that would be mounted to the wall with this umbilical this portion which is this heat sink will go on the side of the wood stove or any lar any really good heat source and as you can see the cutout is two and three quarters of an inch by four inches. That's the cutout that you need to put on your stove. What that allows to do is the hot side of the heat sink to penetrate the gases. And as you can see, this overlapping portion here covers the flange, creates a flange and covers it. Now you can put a bead of silicone here and a bead of silicone here. And basically what that allows to do is for this heat sink to be embedded right into the right into the flame. And there you go. That's what how it should be mounted. You fill this with water and make it has to always have water in it all the way to close to the top. Now, you can also add something like this. We don't supply this with the unit. But this as a deflector to keep the cold side cold. And this will deflect the heat back. So you could use a, 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 a metal plate or anything like that or an insulated plate uh, that reflects the heat back. And this maintains a hot side and a cold side. And that's the critical part of this technology. The hot side is independent of the cold side. The only uh, um, link there is are the modules that are sandwiched between here. That's what you want to create. Two different zones, cold, hot. And that's really all there is. Now, as far as this is concerned, you have a five volt, which is the same circuit as the five volt USB for five volt lighting, but you also have an external battery and a ground. That external ba ba battery go is your red wire for your DC circuit. As you can see, there's only two wires here. This is a DC system. There's a red wire, positive, black wire, negative. And on this, you can see for your battery for 12 volt charging is you hook up the red wire to the external battery and the black to the ground. And then you put it to any sort of battery and that will charge your battery. Um, if it's a 12 volt, if it's a 1.2, it will still work. The circuit is a current driven circuit. So it's not voltage driven. So whatever voltage you put into it, whatever your load is, doesn't matter. This will accept anything from 1.2 volt rechargeable batteries all the way up to 20 volt um, um, batteries for something like this. So if you have a charger for something like this, for this kind of uh, a power tool, battery, and it's a 20 volt charger, you can put this in and take the input two wires out of this and charge this battery through this circuit. Uh, so any battery you have really can charge on this. You just have to do the wiring properly in order to hook this up. And this will always charge those. Or again, you can run lighting, LED lighting on there. The red again and the black again to, the, to, to, to these outputs and just the screw terminals. Or any other load, a, bad, um, a radio, uh, lighting, um, any type of load that you want to do, you can use with this system. Okay? And that's as simple as it gets. That's the installation for the iPower Tower wood stove unit. Thank you.